a recall election has two parts to it that happen simultaneously. When the recall election is scheduled and a person walks into the voting booth, they have two things to do. One is the question, shall such and such office holder be recalled? And a majority vote needs to approve that. A yes vote of 50% plus one is necessary to recall an office holder. If that 50% plus one, if, if, there, if, 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 if that question gets a majority, then the second part of, of, that, of, of the election kicks in, which is, who do you elect to replace that person? If the recall question gets, is defeated, then the, the next part's null and void. It's, it, 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 there's no need. But the second part of that election means, all right, who will run to fill that, that vacancy? Now, the person who is being recalled can run again. So let me just spew out a, 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 a scenario here. If we have anything like the election we had in May, where we had multiple candidates, if you have more than two or three candidates to, rep to fill the vacancy, that really tips the balance in favor of the incumbent. Because the recall question could be approved, say, 70 to 30. Say 70% of, of voters show up and say, yes, that office holder should be recalled. 30% say no. Well, it's a good bet that that 30% who say no will go ahead and vote for that person to be put back in office. So if you have more than three candidates on the ballot, if you have three, four more candidates on the ballot, 30% wins. Unlike our, our usual municipal election where you need a majority to, 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 to win, you need 50% plus one, that's why you go to a re, uh, uh, the, the runoff that, uh, uh, such as we had this past June. Uh, to everybody, and again, well, we're, this is obviously instructional, and um, we're talking about what the law requires if in the future people decide to get together and to, to take action to recall one or more candidates. And, you can, and, and there's no limit to the number of candidates that can be recalled at any one time. The point that I'm trying to make here is that the effort that goes into a petition, whether it's to block an ordinance or to initiate an ordinance, is a worthwhile exercise. Even if the city council proceeds to ignore it, it just pretends it's not there. The reason it's a worthwhile exercise is because it's the only way in this interactive age that we're in that you can interact with your council, your city council and its mayor, and be effective. The most, the, the heaviest form of that, the most potent form of that is what we're discussing tonight. The ability to put together petitions sufficient in number to make a difference at City Hall without writing a letter to an existing relative, I'm sorry, existing representative in government. This is, be a relative. Right. <laughs> this is your direct power. They use it out in California perhaps too much but we don't have it in our state level in New Jersey. You have it in your Faulkner Act communities, and Trenton is one of them, and we've been successful mostly within the last several years using it. Okay, uh, we talked about, we mentioned this earlier, that, that any, any uh, finances and funds are required uh, and regulated by the, 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 the state ELEC commission and are subject to reporting requirements that are laid out in the manual that we've got. Uh, now, here's some of the numbers. The cost of a special election, like this was the, the cost of the most recent uh, runoff that we had in June, uh, which also covered the uh, water uh, uh, question, $90,000. A lot of people, a lot of people will be put off by that number. It's a lot of money. But a year, a year from now, the question will be, what's going to cost us more down the line to continue with these elected officials serving out the remainder of the term or a $90,000 severance payment, if you want to look at it that way. That $90,000 would be paid by taxpayers. The, the cost of the campaign, again, if you, if you hire paid solicitors, if you, if you put advertisements in the newspaper, that can w run anywhere up to around $20,000. 
and you know, or more. That could be, you know, it could, it, 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 the sky's the limit, but 20 grand is a figure to, to keep in mind. And for, uh, for all those who were involved with the, uh, with the uh, water petition, $20,000 is a lot of money, much more than that than was spent out of pocket. Um, but those are the numbers. And on, on the expenses, um, in um, Point Pleasant Beach earlier this year, uh, Mayor Barella fought legally to try to stop the recall, and he spent $45,000 just in legal fees and going through the court to try to stop the recall. He ended up, the, the recall went through, but he didn't get recalled. He didn't, enough voters voted to keep him in. But that was $45,000 just in legal fees, not even a campaign. And if you're trying to, to get the recall to go through, you've got to ma pretty much match that in legal fees. So just yeah. to give you an idea of what kind of money you could be talking about. And actually, that, that one, one note to make is that unlike the water petition, which was resisted for over a year, if not longer, by the city using city taxpayer money, any, any uh, 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 expenses that the elected official incurs in defending themselves against the recall have to come from their own campaign funds. They are not taxpayer dollars. The only taxpayer dollars that are involved are the costs for actually running and, and holding the, the special election. And again, just to review the timeline, uh, the timeline, May 12th is the first day that a petition could be filed uh, uh, f uh, uh, with, 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 the, with the city clerk uh, indicating an intent to have a recall. Uh, uh, and if the, if the city clerk jumps on that and turns that around in the minimum, a day, uh, uh, minimum time allowable, May, 7th, May 17th is the earliest day that that could be certified. Again, that's at the earliest. Add on your usual Trenton factor. Uh, after it's certified by the city clerk, the elected official to be recalled has, uh, uh, must be notified within, one f within five business days, basically one calendar week. And then uh, October 19th is 160 days. Actually, that would, be a uh, that would be a hard and firm number. Whichever day the city clerk certifies the, 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 the petition, that clock starts. And that clock only runs for 160 days. You have to wait. 55 to 61 days. It's the first Tuesday that falls in that window after the certification of the petitions to have the, to schedule the, the special election. And you can't stretch it out too far either. And then if you if you if you if the timing is such where it runs up against uh, a school board election or a primary, then that also affects it. So these are yeah. these are so January 3rd, taking into account the holidays and everything else. That, that would be about the earliest you could have a possible special election on a recall. If enough, of pe enough people are subject to recall, they will actually stagger the elections. That's, that happened in, um, I think it was Wildwood last year. They, um, they have a com West Wildwood, they have three commissioners and they were recalling two of them. So they had to, or they have five and they were calling three, whatever. So they had to stagger the election so they weren't wiping out the entire body all at once. That somebody had to be steering the ship at least for a day or two. I thank you for coming out. How do they, how do we get to the internet site? What is the well, site? Well, uh, we, we don't have it up yet. We'll, when, we'll let, we'll, it'll be distributed the same way you found out about the meeting. Okay. So, yeah. And I'm sure that our good friends in the local press will help us get the information. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.